Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. I'm looking up because I'm looking at the viewfinder, so don't mind that. But I want to say first to start off, Happy New Year's. Today is like the 8th, and I have a very good explanation for why I have not been filming. I filmed like two videos for y'all. I filmed a vlog, and I had filmed a, um, me doing my friend's nails. Now, if you have me on TikTok, you've seen those nails. But I was having problems with my computer and I move in all that stuff to try to edit my stuff and then fix it and add the sound and do all that stuff. So I just said, I caught an attitude and I said bump it. But this year I'm not going to do that. This is going to be my first vlog of 2023 and it's my first vlog on the 8th because I was sick literally from like the 30th. Up until like today I'm still kind of sick but I feel way better than what I did so if you see my little short if you haven't seen my short i'm gonna be doing some nails in my short i posted like a couple of nails that i've done i still have on my nails for my birthday i don't know if y'all could see them there they go they probably look a little old but um my birthday was december 28th y'all like y'all probably like why you didn't vlog then why you didn't vlog then because it wasn't nothing exciting for my birthday i literally spent my birthday by myself and got me some seafood because i love seafood and yeah that was it but i'm gonna be doing some nails today for y'all but yeah that's why i haven't really been on here i need to find a nail set that i'm gonna do i should have had that up already yes i know i was gonna do a vision board but I already did it and then I'm noticing that everybody's doing digital or like regular vision boards so I was like let me not do that because everybody's already doing that and I don't know if y'all want to see that but if y'all do I could do another one for y'all because I already made one this is what mine look like if it'll focus but this is what mine look like if you peep in the corner, you peep. If you don't, it's okay. But if y'all want me to make, uh oh, there you go. But if y'all want me to make another vision board, I'll make one. And if y'all hear my mom in the back and my sister, I'm very sorry. But um, I'll probably put the picture on the screen and the nails that I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna have I have the nails right here. Um, to be honest, I really don't have a setup to where. I could show y'all the nails and me at the same time so I'm gonna kind of figure out how I'm gonna put the camera down to where y'all can see the nails and see me at the same time because y'all I want y'all to be able to see how I do my nails everything that I got is from Amazon my UV my drill the poly gel that I use uh, if I didn't put it in the title, I use poly gel to do nails. Um, my nails are poly gel. My toes are poly gel. Poly gel is actually better than acrylic. Little FYI, if you didn't know that. But yeah, I use poly gel. I use the Beatles brand. So all my nail polish, blooming gel, top coat, all that. Beatles. The only thing that I don't have from Beatles is my brush, like my applicator brush to put the poly gel. I don't think that's from Beatles. I think it's just a regular one because it's cute and I liked it a lot. So, yeah. So, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to set up the camera and then I'm going to come back on here when I figure that out and we're going to get into the nails. Period. <laughs>
I took the shine off all five of the fingers. I used the small ones. I got the hand from Amazon and then it was like a little kit and it came with more uh the little nail things and all that stuff. I got it off of Amazon. If I can find it, I'll link it or if I can find it, I'll screenshot it and put a picture like somewhere on the screen or whatever like that. And then I have these full cover tips. So when I say full cover, this is what I mean. It's two ways that you can use these. You could use these as like how they do the gel X where you put the any nail glue. I would say beetles because it's really strong. I like it. But um you put the nail glue in there and then you go from cuticle, you go to your cuticle and you lay it down like that. You hold it down, you cure it for like 60 to 90 seconds or whatever like that. You could do it that way. Or you could do um, you could put poly gel in here after you prep all your nails and stuff like that. You can put the poly gel in the full cover tip and spread it out, cut it to whatever length you want, all that. And we're gonna do some short nails, maybe short to medium. So I'm gonna cut them on the mannequin hand, but yeah. When I say full cover tips, that's what I mean. I'm using the same size for all the fingers because they're all the same size, so I'm using. The number two, I don't think you can really see it, but yeah, I'm using number two, so I'm gonna glue these on and all that stuff. And I'm going to drill the inside of the tips to get those rough too, so it can stick to the nail better. If that makes sense. to like how it should look when you're trying to put the full cover tip on the mannequin hand because it's basically how you're supposed to do it when you um when you're doing it on like yourself if you're trying to do it the gel x way now if you're doing it the gel x way then you don't need poly gel you would just need the nail glue which is i'm going to show you the glue again it's by beetles it's a nail glue it's safe for tips but i would assume that full cover tips are still tips so yeah you can use it it's pretty strong i use it there we go i use it and you can get it on amazon i really don't remember the price but um i use it for my tips on my nails um and i use it for my um like my charms my little stones and stuff and it holds up pretty good like it's one stone i think on one of my nails that like like the bottom part of the stone is still on my nails so it's really good it holds really well but when you're doing it you want to go from like i was trying to show show, uh, show you you want to go from your cuticle you want to you well you probably go like a little bit before your cuticle because you don't if just in case you get spillage you don't want it to spill on your skin but if it does spill on your skin you know just clean that up because you don't want to cure it that way because it's not good for your skin and it'll cause your nails to lift and then after you do that then you'll go around it of course to basically seal in the cuticle area so it'll last longer and it won't pop up as if you were doing you know as if you was doing your regular nails now after i put all my tips on i like to drill the tips i like to cut them drill them the shine and all that stuff off of them and then i go in with the poly gel and i'm gonna show all y'all i'm going to show y'all all of that y'all get what i'm trying to say 
if this way if me doing it this way it's kind of complicated for you like if you don't like using the full cover tips you don't want to use the full cover tips if you're like you're trying to practice then you can get regular tips and do it the same way i just don't like putting the poly gel on like the mannequin hand mannequin hand so yeah i don't know this way it's just easier for me but it's no it's really no right or wrong way it is it is but it's not at the same time i'm very bad at explaining stuff if you can't tell already so please bear with me hopefully the visuals do its job yeah so now i'm gonna get to drilling and all that stuff and that'll be the end of my prep you can put a base coat if you want to i have a base coat from the same um brand but i really don't use it to be honest um but I guess that would help with your retention as well. And then you get into your poly gel or whatever you want to do. But if you're doing gel X, now you can just fix your shaping if you want to fix it up a little bit. Cut them, do whatever. And get to painting. Then your job is basically done. <laughs> the nail file that i use i don't think you can see it on there still but it's called mccart there it goes it's kind of i use this one so you kind of can't see it it's the 100 and the 100 in the 80 grit but i learned on tiktok after i already bought these that you're really supposed to use the uh the 80 80 grit mind y'all I am not a nail tech, never been to nail school. This is literally all I know from like me messing with nails for a while. So I'm literally self-taught. So if I do anything that you that you think I could do better or I could do differently or if it's a better way to do something, please let me know in the comments below. I take all constructive good criticism. So don't be mean because i don't know what i'm doing because i've never went to nail school i've been looking at it but i don't know i took all the shine off and i shaped the nails i personally like tapered square it's not square it's not coffin it's in between i don't like super white nails i don't like almonds the levels none of that when i'm doing my nails personally this is what i like so i kind of did them as if i was doing my nails because i kind of want to do this set not the same exact one, but I kind of want to see if I can do it for real because right now they look kind of cute. And the nail design, if I haven't put it in the on the screen already, then I'll put it right here. But this is the nail set that I want to do. I don't really have all those colors, so as far as the colors, I'm just going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with what I have, right? 
but yeah so we've prepped the nails and all that stuff so now this is where we get into our poly gel our application and all that stuff um so you'll need like a little dapping dish i got this off of amazon okay so you'll need either some slip solution or some 70 percent alcohol slip solution i and alcohol it works the same i've never really used slip solution i always use alcohol and um it works good for me i don't know where my other bottle of alcohol is i like that better because i don't like the nozzle that's on this because it makes me spill but whatever i normally try to fill my daffin dish up a little bit so i don't have to keep going back and i think i left napkins but yeah so you'll need a daffin dish you're gonna need you a napkin to wipe your like wipe all your excess and all that stuff off on and if you see me other nail um clip thing but i have this one i bought the magnets separately and then the nail clipper came in a kit but I got those off of Amazon too. And you know, you lose, use the little magnets to see how much you wanna cut off, how long or short you want them. This is normally what I use on like my hands or when I use, when I did my friend's nails, I use this one. And I just put the little magnets on there and it works good. You get all your nails the same, um, the same length. So it's helpful instead of doing that other thing where they take the dual form and they do it that way. I don't have time for all of that. So I think today I'm gonna use this poly gel color. If I can see what it looked like first. Normally when I do my nails, I use 22. And this is 28. I'm trying to see what it looks like. Looks like this. It's like a hot pink not really a nudish type of pink but i like when i'm doing my mannequin hands i use the colors that i won't use on my nails and i bought these these are like 60 what yeah they're 60 ml and i think for one it's like nine ten dollars but last year a while like i the one that i had bought when i had bought this one I still have a little bit left in there and I bought that like months ago so yeah it lasts you a good while well depending on how much you do nails and stuff I only do my nails so you know it's gonna last me a little while I only do my nails and my feet but yeah so I think I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna get my brush I don't know what this brush is called to be honest but it looks a little messed up but this is a brush that I use. It's like a flathead brush, I guess you could say. I got it off of Amazon. It's not really a brand. It just looks like this. It's rose gold with little crystals inside. Um, rose gold is like my favorite metal. So, I got this one. I use this one. So, yeah. But, and if you see me recording on my phone, I'm doing a TikTok. So, you should follow me on TikTok. If you didn't do it when you seen it across the screen the first time, rude. I'll put it right here or I'll put my whole like a screenshot of my TikTok and a link to my TikTok in the description box and I'll put my TikTok on the screen like right here or somewhere like that. And yeah, y'all follow me on TikTok because nail content will be on there too. But I'm going to also put like other types of content like hair content because I did my hair by myself. I dyed it, plucked it, installed it, all of that by myself. Should I have recorded that? Yes. Did I? no silly me obviously but i'm gonna get into it because i feel like i did a good job and i feel like y'all could help me with doing better on my wigs and stuff this little duster brush thing i got in a kit too off of amazon i'm telling y'all everything i got off of amazon the only thing i didn't get from amazon is the alcohol everything else amazon amazon is going to be your best friend and I do my own lashes too so if y'all want to see like my lashes how I do my lashes myself I can show y'all the glue the tray I use all that and it's also on my TikTok the stuff that I use for my um for my lashes but if y'all want a video I'll post one of those too but I'm gonna shut up poly gel normally when I do this I do multiple nails at a time but I take 
I'm gonna see if I can show y'all. But I just squeeze it out the tube. I don't use a lot because then it's gonna be harder for you to actually move the poly gel if you have too much and you don't wanna waste it, right? So use a little bit at a time, like how they do acrylic nails and they do beads at a time. They do like two to three beads. You wanna kinda do it the same way so you're not wasting your product. Okay, so I squeeze some out. How much ever I feel like I need. Probably about this much should be good. And this still might be too much. Because honestly, a little goes a long way. This is how much I put on the nail. Normally, I do like each nail. Well, not each nail. I don't do it one by one. But since I'm like recording, I'm going to slow it down a little bit all right so you got your got your alcohol mine's on a napkin well not on a napkin but i guess a napkin down here so that's why you can't see it but um you get your breath i normally tap my brush like on a napkin so it's not too much alcohol so it doesn't mess it up but you get some of that off and then you want to push I wish I had a better angle for y'all to see, but you basically want to push it towards the cuticle like this. Where your cuticle would be, you want to push it there. You don't want to put too much to where you're flooding the cuticle, but you want to put enough, right? If that, make, if that makes sense. If it don't make sense, I'm sorry, but yeah. So I'm going to push it so y'all can see. isn't perfect if it's lumpy and all that stuff you can still fix it before you cure it you can't um you can still move it around play with it try to get it the best way you like get it the best that you can get it basically and then remember you always still have drilling to do so yeah how my nail looks before curing it remember y'all I'm self-taught and I'm still learning I haven't been to school or anything like that yet so it's not gonna be perfect yeah this is pretty smooth I like how this looks for the most part so I'm not gonna play around with it too much before I mess it up. So I'm gonna cure it and then I'm gonna get to doing all the nails and that's gonna be the sped up version. So we're not taking all day doing this. So I'll get back to y'all when it's done. I'm doing with you, right? 
It's already recording, fool. Ew. Why? <laughs> Man, shout out game, man. Big brother in this big. You already know. Yo, y'all go follow me too. Right there, you feel me? Yo. All right, bye. Bye, Monday. <laughs> My camera battery died or whatever like that but it's the same i filmed me doing the application of these two so y'all are going to see the application of these two i did the same thing for all of the nails the only thing i did was add a bead like i was telling y'all before i was adding a bead like towards the middle right here just to you know build the structure of the nail but once you do that you want to get you a little cotton pad or and you cure it i i cure each finger for 60 seconds and i do the whole hand for 90 seconds i do the same thing for like my hands if you're supposed to do that much i don't know and i also got these little i don't know where they're at right now but they're these little black gloves that's for like when you do your nails and you put in your hand and the uv lit of uh, the uv lamp i got that from amazon too um also protect your hand from you please wipe your nails with alcohol thoroughly why it's just gonna finish the drying process basically and if it doesn't feel like how your nails would feel if you get acrylic like basically if they still feel sticky dry it again for another 60 30 you know whatever you feel the nail really needs Cause you can feel like if it would need more time, yes or no, to be honest. And when you hit on it, ASMR, it'll make that tapping noise. That's how you know it's done. And you do this because if you don't, when you're filing it, it's going to be really sticky and it's going to be a mess and it's just going to mess up your nails. Your nails not going to look good. They're going to look a mess. I learned the hard way. Trust me. I might not know a lot of stuff, but I know that. So when they're shiny like this, you just get you some alcohol on a little cotton pad or whatever like that and you clean it up. I got these little cotton pads from Target, but you can get it off of Amazon too. And I bought, it's like a three pack of them from Target and after I wipe these down, you're gonna. See, I'm gonna show y'all the imperfections that's in my nails, so y'all can see. Like I'm literally not perfect. I'm still learning. So yeah. And you want to make sure you're wiping it really good. You get all the sides and all that stuff, cause when it get a little sticky and you start filing, you'll be like, oh my god, it's very annoying to be honest. I see this nail right here this pointer finger it's not all the way dry so <clears throat> even though you do your 60 seconds your 90 seconds and stuff like that sometimes even after you do the alcohol it still won't be all the way dry it just depends on if the UV lamp could get to it or not But you'll know when it's not dry. You can tell. It'll be moving around still. And if it's still moving around, you know it's not dry. And I'm going to show y'all before I put it back in the UV. They should look dried out like this. They shouldn't look shiny anymore. You see that shine right here? That means it's not dried all the way. But you see how all these ones are not shiny? They're dry for the most part. If they are shiny like towards the cuticle area, that's because when I was putting down the... Um, the glue I got like a little overflow but yeah it's how your application should look you see this is like where they would say your apex is and when I'm doing my nails to be honest I don't put a lot of product right here I don't like thick bulky nails I like nice flat well not excuse me not flat but I want them to look not so fake i mean they are fake nails but i don't want them to look so fake like i don't like that i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i don't like that i like when it's like thin right here and it's not so bulky especially like if i'm trying to open something and i or like i'm trying to i don't know how to explain it but if you get it you get it if you don't i'm sorry i'm horrible at explaining stuff 
as I've said it before. But anyways, so yeah, they're supposed to look like this. So I'm going to cure my hand again for like 60 more seconds. I probably don't even need that much, but I'm going to do it just because just to make sure everybody shine is gone it's dry so now i'm just gonna go ahead drill try to get everything as leveled as possible as even as possible and get my shape back because i feel like sometimes when you're applying the poly gel you can lose your shape if you don't keep it like control if you're not constantly wiping the sides or sometimes it just you know it spreads so I'm just gonna go back over it and um, get my shape back and stuff. And I clean my brush off. I just. Okay, so as y'all see, I found my nails and all that stuff, but now I'm going to get to the buffing, but before I get to that, I'm going to tell y'all. So, I really use my drill to get, excuse me, to the cuticle area so I can seal that in, but my file, I still like to hand file <clears throat> just to clean it up and stuff because I feel like it gets better when using a hand file and actually like hand doing it. I don't know to me it looked better I don't know if it really does anything but to me it just made me feel better to do so so I that's why I do that if y'all like well, why you just use a nail file and then went back and did a drill I mean a hand file um and the thing I had learned on TikTok I had got this cuticle oil and the little kit that I had got from Amazon but I learned that when you're buffing your nails to use cuticle oil then buff the nails out then it look better that way so i've been doing it that way these mini buffing blocks i got like a whole bunch of them they didn't come in this bag but i just put them in this bag but i got a whole bunch of buffing blocks um off of amazon and you know you just take off one you use it you throw it away so you're not reusing the same one go ahead and buff and then um we're gonna finally get into the design. A long time freaking coming. So I just put like one little, one big line. I don't try to put too much. If I haven't showed y'all already, this is an inspo. I was watching Messy Maj live when I screenshotted this, but that's why you see his face. But this is the nail art that we're going for. Um, I have the cherries, I have these cross charms, and I have some of these colors. So the colors that I have, I'm gonna use if I don't have them, I'm gonna just improvise. Um, I don't have those little pearls 
so i probably just use these um if i can grab them uh -oh. these little crystals these little nail crystals i don't know if y'all can see that but you'll see them when i put them on the nail but they're little silver um little nail rhinestones or whatever like that so then i'll just use those but i think i have most of these colors my colors are beetles as well and i threw them in this bag this little nail bag so we got that. y'all if it looks crooked my bad my battery died yet again um so i ended up just finishing the nails and this is how they came out well i didn't really finish but i finished like the line work i honestly don't like this pointer finger and this middle finger but my french tips my frenchies they eat down babe i love them i love french tips french tips are what i normally do on my nails this is my first nail set that i've done on myself that i haven't done french tips to be honest but we're gonna go ahead and finish this nail look up. I got my top coat that I'm gonna put on first. I like to put my top coat on first and then put my charms. And if I feel like I want more top coat, then I do it that way. And we're gonna be using the same nail glue that we use to glue down our tips and all that stuff from Beatles, both by Beatles. Um, I have the cherry charms. That are in pink i don't have the two different sizes but i do have the cherry charms so i'm still gonna use them um got those from amazon if i didn't say that already and then i have my cross in stuff like that it's like a little box that come with a lot of them don't mind the little rhinestones that are in there they have fell out and spilled in here so yeah that's that but i got this from amazon too and i have my thing to pick up my stones and stuff and i use this to like get the glue on there sometimes but yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and get this finished out of the way
all right y'all so these are how the nails look i probably got it in a little clip just in case it doesn't focus i don't think it's gonna focus but those are how the nails look do i like them i like a select few of them this is where i critique my work i always do this at the end of every nail set that i've ever done i always do this i tell myself what i don't like and what i feel like i could do better on so as i told y'all before i don't like the first finger and i don't like the middle i like the middle finger with the charm now but the charm looks cute with the two cherries i should have put them closer together like how they are in the picture but i have to remember these nails are longer than what the picture is so yeah i like the thumb even though i didn't have the the pearl charms or whatever like that pearl little stones um i feel like this really came out cute if they were a little bit bigger it would have been way better but that's just me i like this and um am i gonna put a second coat of top coat on this no but that's how they look i got my little videos in so yeah that what would you change about them what would you add on this it was just something new to try to see if i could do it yes or no put in the comment section down below what um what kind of videos do y'all want to see do y'all want me to do a q a if y'all want me to do a q a to be honest if you're watching this you might as well just put the uh the questions in the comments because I know that if I post Q&A on Instagram, nobody likes to interact on my Instagram or my TikTok. They really don't comment. So, yeah, if you have any, like, questions or whatever like that that you want me to answer, you can put it in the comment section down below. And then I'll do a QA and a video. Um, just a regular sit-down video. If you want me to show y'all my not everyday makeup routine because I'm trying to stop wearing makeup so much. Even though I really don't feel like I wear it a lot. But, you know. Um yeah if y'all want that i can show y'all that if y'all want to see how i do my lashes i can show y'all that um if y'all want to see how i did my vision board i think i showed y'all if i did not put a picture up but if y'all want to see how i did my vision board i'll show y'all that and then um also use my code well my link my code whatever you want to call it for her influence um i'm gonna put I'm going to put it in the description box and I'm going to have like the little TikTok that I did. I'm going to put that on the screen too right here. And it's just um, a girl on YouTube. She has a business where she tells you like how to start your YouTube, how to do your reels, how to start your business and all that stuff. And she's also hosting a Zoom that talks about um, being intentional with your goals and stuff like that and you know also giving tips and pointers on youtube and how to really get into youtube and stuff like that so if you're looking into that i'll make sure that i put the i have my link in the description box so y'all can click the link and see all what's on there and you know if you want to get into youtube you can start a business or if you just need a planner or anything like that because she has those two um y'all can click it on there but yeah these are the nails that's all i got for y'all tonight i'm gonna go ahead and ed edit this video so it could be out by like what's today sunday so it could be out like three four tomorrow and i'm also gonna post my little tiktoks that i did so make sure you follow me on tiktok make sure you follow me on instagram make sure you like comment and subscribe so you can join the game and we can become besties and you know what i post i'm really gonna get into posting y'all and if you see that I'm not posting, like it's been like a week or two weeks and I ain't post no video, DM me on Instagram. Comment on the last video I posted and be like, girl, give me a video. And I got y'all. Bye.